Serious what is something good that happened to you this week? Everything seems to easily be falling into place for a new job in a new city and I got approved for the first apartment I applied to. Crazy. Someone hit on me which was flattering. She wasn't my type, but it was nice to be reminded that I'm indeed an okay looking guy. I feel empty. I need to learn how to enjoy life again before I even consider dating. I think I've let life stagnate too much. Time for something new. I had 4 nights in a row or 6-7 hours of continuous sleep. For months I've been sleeping a couple hours at a time waking up in panics and anxiety. I'm starting to gain some clarity after being stuck in a really deep depression. I'm not out of the woods yet but I see the light and feel hopeful for the first time in a long while. Just being told that I actually, genuinely, am funny and not just annoying really makes me feel good. I woke up. Every day is a new day. Enjoy it. I'm getting stronger. Just did mitral valve replacement surgery, and doing well. Good results from recent blood tests. After a year or so of health issues, good health is very welcome, smiley face. I danced with a girl for the first time last Friday at a prom. At the time of posting, it technically hasn't been a week, so I'll still count it as this week. Happened to me at the end of last night, but in a moment where I was feeling really forgotten and lonely. One of my best mates messaged me and invited me to an early screening of the new Spider-Verse film that he won tickets for. Best way to end the week. I needed a favor from a coworker whom I don't know all that well, and not only did she graciously agree to the favor, but when I thanked her profusely, she said, Oh, anytime. You're one of my favorite people here. Talked to my therapist and he was able to pull me out of a suicidal place a couple days ago. Plus the weather is nice today. I have been able to function at a normal level. I have been socializing, cleaning, shopping, painting, cooking, eating. I'm not who I used to be and I still have a lot of healing to do, but I feel really proud of myself for maintaining my home. We saw Billy Bob Thornton and the Box Masters at a local venue and they were so good. You could tell they just really enjoy playing together and the music was great. I had so much fun. I was running errands this week and all the places I went people were in a good mood. Usually it's a mix between grumpy people and happy people but this week somehow everyone was happy. I've met someone from my country in a game. Really rare occasion for me. To be honest I actually meet people from my country like 10-20 times in a year in games. Or less. I finally got diagnosed with hypothyroidism. Here's hoping it'll be easy to treat and I can work on getting my life back. My kiddo had their preschool graduation. It was unexpected and freaking adorable they had gowns and cop I'm so proud they're a fun person and I can't wait to see who they become. Not sure I'm ready, but they are. My grandson graduated from elementary school and chose to spend his afternoon with grandma and I. I love that young and when the wee pass he gets everything. Sorry kids. My wife joined me in retirement last week. After researching, contemplating, comparing, and endlessly talking it over. My wife and I finally settled on a Medigap plan and provider yesterday. There is a lot to consider that most people who are already on Medicare don't even know that will cost them dearly later on. My girlfriend smiled and got really happy when I gave her a Harry Potter chocolate frog. She has some issues and has been sad recently so I whipped the frog out. I went back to the store and bought several more to use as treats for her. I was very worried about a water bill. I had a leak outside that was fixed but I still had tremendous anxiety that there are further problems that I had not found that causes my sky high water bills. The bill came yesterday and it was the lowest bill I've had in memory. Now my broken brain can promote other things to the top of my worry list to prevent me from being happy. I reunited with my best friend's family from my childhood, who was also my next door neighbor. Haven't seen him for 10 years. The cashier at the pharmacy was really nice. I was just getting some antihistamines and as I was paying for them she talked to me as if she'd known me for years. I have been volunteering at a bird banding station and I got to band for the first time a semi-palmated plover and a least sandpiper I also got to see dunlins and black-bellied plovers for the first time. My work gave us all a two-hour early release paid in advance of Memorial Day. So whenever you were supposed to stop, you just signed out two hours early. Even if teleworking, I celebrated my 10-year anniversary. If the entirety of my story was known, you'd all understand why this is a significant achievement. My birthday. I've wanted Posca markers for so long, and I got some it was a good birthday in general. I graduated high school, I didn't really care about the ceremony tbh I'm just glad I got it over with as I'd been dreading it for weeks. I got to see my grandfather and great uncle again and we went out together as a family and had a great time. I went to Starbucks to get a coffee and got it for free because someone paid for it. 
Free coffee always makes for a good day. We successfully went out for breakfast and a coffee for our wedding anniversary. It may not sound like much but we have a 2.5 year old who's going through a very difficult time and doesn't listen or cooperate in taking her out gets stressful. It's like she gave us her own anniversary gift. I gave blood for the very first time just this past Wednesday, and went better than I expected. It always does my heart good to give to the community. Big man. Nothing good has happened to me since maybe 3 years ago. Life has just been downhill since 2020. This post. I got banned from a subreddit for saying something silly jokingly. And. I asked my nonverbal son if he was okay. He shrugged at me. I lulled in simpatico. Any communication is good communication. May twice as many good things happen to you this week. Our first ever garden is growing. I call it a garden because I didn't plant the veggies in the ground they are all in planters. We have two little bitty cucumbers so far with lots of blooms as well as a few blooms on our tomatoes. I'm elated that my kids come out and check in every day and we are sharing in the growth. Yesterday I met one of my old high school teachers for lunch and we spent almost an hour and a half catching up. I had him for a class 20 years ago but we've kept in touch over the years. He's one of my favorite teachers I've ever had and it was so great to see him again.